learning of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I'm willing to help, Kiri. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Recently assaulted by an unknown group. From what I understand, there aren't any gunners left to tell the tale. If that's true, it's a little unsettling. Those guys meant business. There are rumors circulating that the Institute was somehow involved. Now I know they come up every time something bad or unexplained. Oh, can we see but the old state house? Maybe they have the tourist I brochure. I did not suspect they were involved. Don't jump to conclusions, but keep your wits about you folks. And don't worry. At this time, there's no reason to suspect our fair city is in danger. So you just sit back and enjoy some quality music. Courtesy of Diamond City Radio. The Institute is finally gone. Next we can we'll all breathe easier without them lurking Danny behind Day. everyone's li lives. Thank you. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. You know about the mind wipes I perform on synths, but... But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. She'll be giving what's left of her life for someone else. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Since G5 has no one else. For what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Curie. Let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... 
My chest? What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. <laughs>